Have you ever thought about what or who made the universe? Do you believe in a supreme being, or do you think that science has all the answers? What if the universe was about to turn everything you believed to be true on its head? Some of our smartest people, like Elon Musk, have been asking these things. Today, we're going to look into what he has said and thought about Jesus, the Bible, and the very nature of reality. To elevate the level of our conversation, let me introduce to you this woman. Dolores Cannon was a famous hypnotherapist and author who spent her whole life trying to find the hidden facts about life. Her work helped us with our exploration and made it more interesting. In her book, The Custodians, she explores the mysterious links between old knowledge, life from other planets, and our spiritual growth. So, Elon Musk's ideas aren't just odd thoughts. They're part of a bigger quest that many thinkers have had throughout history. By looking at these teachings, we can begin to see a bigger picture of our world, one that challenges our current views and encourages us to grow as people. Now is the time to start a trip that will bring together science and spirituality and reveal the scary truths that could forever change the way we see the world. If you're new, I'd like to invite you to save this channel and become a part of our group. Allow us to begin. Elon Musk's upbringing has influenced his views on faith and belief. Elon was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa. He grew up with a lot of different religious influences. He went to a Hebrew preschool, even though he wasn't Jewish, and then he went to an Anglican Sunday school. He had a unique view of faith and piety because he had been exposed to two different areas of religion. He told the press, One day I was singing Hava Nagila, and the next day I was singing Jesus Loves Me. This wide range of religious schooling did not make people strongly adhere to any one faith. It instead helped people develop a deep respect for the moral teachings found in many faiths, especially those of Christianity. He believes that morals like love your neighbor as yourself and turn the other cheek are good for society. He often makes comparisons between religious views and scientific research. Many people, he says, look to religion to help them understand the mysteries of the world. But he thinks that science can help us understand these mysteries without the help of God. He says that the most important thing is to try to make people smarter and more knowledgeable. He says that faiths can help people find morals and a sense of who they are, but they can also stop people from learning new things. His way of thinking is more like the scientific method. It stresses exploration and wonder. He thinks that learning more about the world is important for finding answers to basic questions about life. The way he deals with the big philosophical questions is one of the most interesting things about his ideas. When asked about the purpose of life or God's presence, he often shifts the conversation to the idea of making people smarter. He says that the only way to get close to knowing the answers to these big questions is to keep exploring and learning about the world. His focus on scientific study over religious doctrine makes us think about how we see and look for answers to life's biggest mysteries. He challenges the common dependence on religious explanations and urges a broader view by focusing on the growth of human knowledge. His ideas are part of a bigger story about the debate that has been going on for hundreds of years about how faith and science should work together. People in the past, like Galileo and Darwin, faced a lot of resistance from religious groups for the scientific discoveries they made. Today, he keeps up the practice of challenging accepted beliefs and expanding what we think we know about the universe. His ideas about religion and belief show how traditional religious beliefs and modern scientific study are still at odds with each other. We can better understand how important it is to grow our knowledge and awareness by looking at his unique background and philosophical point of view. The main idea behind Musk's speech is that science can help us understand what reality is like. 
He thinks that science is the best way to find out the truth about the world because it is methodical and based on facts. He believes that the physical world, which is controlled by the rules of physics and math, gives us a way to study and understand life. This is different from religious theories, which usually depend on supernatural or divine forces. He said that the beginning of the world and the complexity of life are things that science tries to explain without using supernatural elements. He says that the idea that things get more complicated from simpler is one of the most basic ideas that supports our survival. This point of view is similar to the scientific idea of evolution, which says that life changes into the many different forms we see today through natural selection and genetic variation. The growth of human awareness is a central idea in his philosophy. He says that by improving our minds and exploring the world, we can learn more about the most important questions about life and being. To expand awareness, people must both learn and push their limits. He imagines a future where technological and science progress helps people get past their current limits. This thought shows up in his businesses, like SpaceX, whose goal is to make space travel more accessible and open the door for people to live on other planets. He thinks that by going into the unknown, we can find answers to the big questions that people have been asking for thousands of years. He accepts the moral teachings of different religions, but he doesn't agree with their ideas about how the world works. He says that religious views, while giving many people comfort and a sense of who they are, don't always have the facts behind them to answer the most important questions about life. His method encourages people to keep learning without being limited by dogma. This view doesn't mean that religious lessons aren't useful for teaching morals and building community. Instead, it calls for people to live together peacefully, with religious morals working hand in hand with science research. Morals that help people get along, like turn the other cheek and love thy neighbor, are important to him. Many of us think that we can't give a clear answer to the deep question, what is the meaning of life at this point in our knowledge? We see it as an ongoing journey instead. In order to find meaning, we have to keep pushing the limits of what we know and looking for new ways to understand how things work. This way of thinking is heavily influenced by science. It says that exploring the world and raising people's consciousness can help people find the meaning of life. As we learn more about the universe, we can get closer to finding answers to basic questions about our existence. Not only is this quest about learning, but it's also about seeing how big the world is and where we fit in it. This way of thinking is based on a never-ending interest, encouraging a mindset that enjoys exploring and the unknown. This desire to learn can be seen in many activities, from SpaceX's exploration of space to Tesla and Neuralink's work on creating cutting-edge technologies. Many people think that being curious is the key to understanding life and the world. There is more to expanding human awareness than just getting smarter. It includes making our minds smarter and learning more about the physical world. An important thing is to have an idea for the future in which people and AI work together to learn more. This mutually beneficial relationship between people and technology will help us learn more about our life than ever before. If you liked this discussion and thought it made you think, please click the Super Thanks button to show your support. Your donation helps us keep giving you in-depth looks at interesting topics and the big questions that shape how we think about the world. The philosophy also talks about what consciousness is and how it works, arguing that consciousness is an important part of understanding the world. We can learn more about the world and find deeper truths about life by asking questions and looking into things all the time. This way of thinking rejects complacency and supports a search for meaning that is always changing. The big questions about what life is all about and how things work are not just vague ideas. They are at the heart of what it means to be human. 
we can look at these questions with awe and interest by exploring them in the fields of science and philosophy. Looking for these answers pushes us to think about more than what's obvious and what our lives really mean. Musk doesn't want to find clear answers to these questions. Instead, he enjoys the search itself. We keep moving forward because we want to learn more and explore something new. We can find new ideas and ways of doing things when we keep broadening our minds and pushing the limits of what we think we know. Being curious is what leads to new discoveries. It makes us want to learn more, ask questions and discover the unknown. Maintaining a curious mind helps us adapt and grow in a world that is always changing. This way of thinking tells us to never settle for simple answers and to always try to understand the world around us better. The search for meaning in our lives is an ongoing adventure that calls for both humility and drive. We have to be willing to face uncertainty and stay open to new ideas on this quest. The world is very big and full of amazing things. We can only hope to find out its deepest secrets if we all work together. If you liked this discussion and thought it made you think, please click the Super Thanks button to show your support. Your donation helps us keep giving you in-depth looks at interesting topics and the big questions that shape how we think about the world. See you in the next show.